YouTube and welcome back. So today is hopefully a video of uh, me fitting PPF to the rear arches since I've got new ones. Um, never done it before, um, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know how it goes anyway. As Clarkson would say, how hard can it be? But Well, probably very hard and I'll make a mess of it, but I don't know, we'll see. If, if that does happen then I'll get someone else to fit it for me, but we'll give it a good go. It's got to be better than the bubble wrap protecting them at the moment anyway so and uh, well since the um, phone was in the garage I was getting well being fixed I was getting a little bit bored so I was uh, tarting up the garage a little bit inside making my life a little bit easier so I've put up a whiteboard so done my list of the jobs for the day so we've got clean fern outside and inside we've got fit PPF to the rear arches and then check oil and water and then these here will be for another day or maybe a few other days. So I've got some new doors, so we'll change the doors. I've uh, got a new windscreen, so I need to fit that and put some PPF on it as well. Uh, fit another, um, another, well, sorry, an extra brake light and um, do an oil change at some point. So there she is. So first let's have a look and see what's uh, underneath the bubble wrap. Is what's been hiding underneath the bubble wrap so I think I saw one comment of somebody saying it's um, the actual wraparound guards and yeah, it looks very similar but it's not the actual whole wing is carbon itself so these wings were bought uh, from ultimate carbon and uh, they were a lot lot cheaper than the Caterham ones um, so the whole wing is carbon itself um, I've had it painted um, kind of up to here and then it's been lacquered and um, I'm yeah really really happy with the results so this is the first time of me actually seeing it properly because uh, when I picked the car up the bubble wrap was already on so I peeled a little bit off just to have a look um, but yeah it's um, yeah really really good very very happy with the results um, so yeah definitely worth protecting putting some PPF on so we'll give that a go and um, yeah see so, but yeah thank you very much um, Ultimate Carbon um, just for the good price of them basically so so much cheaper than the um, Caterham ones themselves so well quick brew break got a quick brew as you can see or maybe see on this cup it's very special got a little fern on it <laughs> so we're gonna have a quick brew and then um, get washing and then we'll try the PPF after that so see you in a minute the answer to the question then how hard can it be to fit PPF to the rear arches well yeah it's difficult other than a perfect job no but it's good enough for me so I'm not sure how you can tell but it's definitely on there you might be able to see the seam just there and if I get the shadow out of the way it's just there on the top I'm not sure I'll try and zoom in on the video if I uh, can try and see it but it's really good it's definitely going to protect them protect them a lot better than bubble wrap um, I want to give a shout out to Dave um, who I think owns uh, Premier Paint Guard which is where I bought them from um, so I put this side on first and it was okay um, I put a kind of crease in around about here had a few bubbles and well I wasn't that happy with it to be honest with you um, I think I did a I managed to get a bit of filming um, and then the camera turned off that ran out of battery um, but I kind of 
wet all the back of it, uh, wet the wing, put it on, kind of started from there and started push, pushing up, but with it actually stuck, well not stuck properly because it was lubricated, but while it was fully on kind of the wing um, or arch, uh, whereas the other side, which seemed to work a lot better, and like I say, I'm not an expert by any means, this is my first time doing it, uh, but why did I just kind of put it on first and then I kind of lift, I lifted it back just so I knew that it was in the right kind of position and then I held the top bit back um, while using the squeegee and kind of pushing it up while holding it, holding the top bit back and um, I don't know, maybe there's a chance to get more dust in that way but it seemed to stick a lot better and like I say, it's not 100% but I think there's one tiny little bubble in there which might be a little bit of dust but um, I don't know, maybe I was lucky, it just, it worked really well that side and um, like I said, this side there's a bit of a bubble there so I wasn't happy with this side and um, big shout out to Premier Paint Guard again, Dave, because I texted him on, and it's a Sunday as well so I wasn't really expecting a reply but he did so thank you Dave and he said um, if I if I wanted to try and get it off, um, heat it with a hairdryer, which I did and uh, so I managed to kind of like peel a little bit from the top. I actually got my wife to help and she was um, using the hairdryer to go across here and it managed to heat it enough to kind of release it a little bit and then I managed to pull it back and I was just trying to be as careful as I could not to stretch it basically, but yeah, I got it off. So, but it, it kind of took it off to around about there because I didn't think that there was any bubbles left. <laughs> I thought that was, that was it. And then I realized right at the end that um, there's a little one there, but. It's okay. It's going to get hit by stones anyway, isn't it? So it's uh, way better than, I say, having the bubble wrap on there anyway. So, and I'm yeah, pretty happy with the result. So I could, I'm sure I could do it better next time. Um, maybe there'll be a next time. So I've got some film to put on um, again from Premier Paint Guard uh, for my new windscreen. But I would assume that that would be easier because it's completely flat. Because um, obviously you've got the curve of the arch here. And it also bending around a little bit there as well so it was um yeah i'm quite happy with it like i say if you want a, if you want a perfect job i would pay someone to do it but like i say it's going to get covered in stone chips eventually anyway even though it's self-healing but so yeah so how hard can it be yeah it's hard but worth doing yourself and giving it a go i say so again big shout out to premier paint guard and I will put a link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, there'll be a lot more videos coming soon. So yeah, thank you very much. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff and uh, see you in the next one. Thank you, bye bye.